All right, audio check. All right, audio check. Okay, looks like we're good. Hello, everyone. This is Gun the Maze, aka John Hooper. I'm here for my string of Chizome no Hana, aka Bloodstained Flowers. And last time, we um Kai they finally caught up to um Sakura and Hiragi and told um. Sakura, that the whole reason he did this was to get revenge on Sakura because the whole reason his family died 10 years ago was because Sakura's father had used them as a test bed in order to see if the flower's poison could cure her illness. However, after... And also that um, Kai himself was infected with the poison 10 years ago. He drank an antidote that slowed it down, but he doesn't have long to live now because the only... Because, yeah, he's almost... The, Poison's almost run its course and he's supposed to die in a few hours. So he plans to kill Sakura, but then Hiragi says that it's not Sakura's fault at all that he lost that Kai lost his family, but instead Hiragi's fault himself. So then um Hiragi started telling a story about how he and his father went to visit um Sakura and Anzu's place, where um Hiragi's father met up with um with uh their father. That's where we're picking up. Um, now this will probably be the last stream. Um, maybe there'll probably be a one more short one I'll have after that at some point for showing off the bad endings and all that. But this will be the should be the end of the main story this time. So without further ado, let's begin. And then Cinderella and the prince um, lived happily ever after. The end. What should we do next? Play old maid? I don't know how to play it. You don't play all the main card games, Hiragi? What do you usually play, then? My friends, I uh, I used to play hide and go seek with them. You've been playing outside, right? Sis has gotten healthy now, so I like to play outside too. Well, it's raining today. Can't do it, unfortunately. Let's go read this book next, sis. Hold on a second. Second, sorry. All right, back. Um, um, let's read. The king has donkey ears. I'm gonna go check on my dad, on my father. But your dad said to play here. I'm just gonna take a look. I won't get in, I won't get in their way. And I'm gonna come with you. Oh fine. But only a peek, you hear? We went in front of the room where my father and Aoi were talking and sneakily placed our ears against the door. Aoi Krishna. The culprit who poisoned Kaede's family. Maybe they were talking about something involving incident, I thought. If I hear anything about the incident from Aoi Krishna, I'll be sure to tell Kaede. 
It was with that thought that I listened in on the conversation. あの血液を譲ってくれたのは本当にありがたいがあまり家には来ないでくれないか妻や娘たちにこんな話を聞かれたくないんだ金なら毎月少しずつ払っていくから Listen, I'm grateful to you for providing me with the blood. I am, really. But could you not come to my house all that much? I want my wife and daughters to hear me talking about this kind of thing. If it's about the money, I'll pay you a bit each month. Oi, oi, what's this? What's this? I'm going to use it. 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 A little, what's this, a bit each month crap? Your daughter was cured because I gave you that thing. I think I deserve a little bit more payment, don't you think? That's. I really am grateful to you. But, um. I can't just. I can't just get, um, have 10 million yen ready that quickly, right? <laughs> I had to kill someone to get that thing, you know? Tell you what I'm owed. Huh? What are you doing? あれは実験で使ったマウスの血液だろ。お前がまだそれを少しだけ持ってるって言ったから、俺がそれをお前から1000万で買って。What are you talking about? You got that blood from the mouse from a from a test mouse, didn't you? You said you still had a little bit of it left, so I bought it from you for 10 million yen. あ、あのマウスの血はさ、別のことに使っちまってよ。お前にやったのは熱さの血液なんだ。まあどっちも血液の成分は一緒だから問題ないだろう。現にお前の娘はこうして元気に。Oh, I used that mouse blood for something else. The blood I gave you was Azusa's blood. Well, either way, um. The compound, the blood's the same, so it doesn't really matter, right? Your daughter's healthy, so that, so that's all that matters. Azusa-san's blood. What are you talking about? Azusa-san was just a few months ago. Azusa's blood? What are you talking about? Azusa died a month ago. What are you talking about? Azusa died a month ago. Azusa, a few months ago, I took the blood of the next one. 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 You see. I put the mouse's blood in that cake we gave the Utsugis a month ago. What? Why would you? Because that bastard, Masaki, had to go and burn all the flowers. Just when I was about to make a killing off of them. You were disappointed yourself when you heard that the flowers had been disposed of, weren't you? That's. But didn't you say that even though it's a pity that the flowers were gone? We need to thank them for laying it. We need to thank for letting us research up till now. So did they? Or ega watas to tabu ketote morai nai daro kara te itta kara. Or ega omae no kawari ni omae no yoi shita keki o watashite. And besides, since you told me that, um, besides, I gave them the cake that you made because you told me that they probably wouldn't accept it from you. Ano keki no naka ni doku ga haitte da kato. Oh, you're telling me there was poison in that cake? Yeah. 
ケーキを食べてそれで錯乱して Yeah. <laughs> Because those bastards pissed me off. They said they, they said they'd talk to the cops if I abused Hiragi anymore. Like tell him to get myself mixed up with the cops. So then, cake ni doku o ireta ti yu no ka. Azusa san wa omae no futago no imoto nan daro. Dou shite son na koto ga dekiru nda. And so you put poison in the cake. Azusa was your twin sister, wasn't she? How could you do something like that? Doesn't matter if she was my sister. I'd get rid of anyone in my way. But after, we, but after you gave the cake, I cursed my short sightedness. I figured I could have sold you that blood for some cash. So afterwards, I went back to the Yutsugi house one more time. And then I saw Azusa. Staring off in the space, stand. No, then I saw Azusa in the greenhouse, infected and staring off in the space. And I stabbed her in the back of a knife, and she fell down, stopped moving. Incidentally, um, the knife I'm talking about was on. Was the one I got? I got the knife I'm talking about from the table on the greenhouse. So anyway, after I took Alice's blood, um, a damn brat wandered into the greenhouse. He ran at me, shouting, sh asking me. Shouting and asking me what I was doing to his mother, so I slit his throat. Momiji-kun o koroshita no wa... Omae datta no ka? You were the one... who killed Momiji? So... Sono ato hocho wa ore no shimo o chanto fuki tokte. Taore teru Azusa no te ni nigirase te yatte. Ore wa... Utsugiki kara taisan shita te wa gara. That's right. After that, I wiped, the, I wiped my prints off the knife and put it in Alyssa's hands while she was still out. After that, I left the Yutsugi. I left the Yutsugis. I thought I was going to buy the cake, but I thought I was going to buy someone else. I was going to buy someone else. Truth be told, I've been planning on getting the cake back, too. But since someone might have spotted me if I stay for too long, I left in a hurry. There's a huge stroke of luck that the, that the brat who survived told the, told the cops that his mom was the killer. Thanks to that, no one suspected a thing about me. Don't tell me you were the one who killed Masaki, too. Don't be an idiot. I got out of there before he came back. 
I think the two of them just mis um just misunderstood the situation about each other. Misunderstood? It seems there was a knife with Masaki's fingerprints on at the scene of the crime. It's pro Masaki probably took that knife in order to try to save Azusa. Azusa woke up. Um, she was probably surprised when she saw her son dead in front of her eyes, killed by someone. Then Masaki came in with a knife and pointed it right at her. Azusa probably figured that Masaki killed their son. Plus, I also had trauma from being abused in the past. Once our old man um, stabbed her and almost killed her. Ever since then, she's had, she's um, she had, she's had a hard grip on her sanity whenever she sees a man holding a blade. So that, Masaki no koto. So she probably instinctively killed Masaki. <laughs> it was a pain to adopt that surviving brat. But he's got a huge inheritance in his lap. So being the nice guy I am, I had no choice but to take the poor kid in. You're truly scum. Everyone, everyone who died, it was your fault I won the Utsugi family died. How can you laugh like that? Huh? Oh, come on, Ali. Uh, don't talk like you're not involved with this. You're half the reason they died, right? Huh? Instant would have never happened if you never gave them the cake, right? So you have a part to blame in... Hold on. Don't you think you have some fault in this too? Taking something... Giving something to them that I made without any questions? It's all fine, isn't it? In the end, your beloved daughter was... You saved your beloved daughter. So what if some other family died? Got nothing to do with you. If... If only I'd never given it to them. Now, now. No need for panic. Alright then. I'll be expecting that money soon. After I heard their conversation, I backed away from the door and shivered. The one who put the poison in the cake? And the one who killed Momiji? It was all father. I have to tell Kaede. But what would Kaede do if he learned about this? 
You probably want revenge on father, right? What after that? Would, could the two of us stay together like we have up until now? Of course not. That'd be impossible. Because after all, I'm his son. Because I resemble father so much. I'm sure that whenever Kaede looks at my looks at my face, he'll remember my father. I'm sure he'll look at me with resentment. Now, in the first place, I was the whole reason that um, father started going to the Yasugi Manor, wasn't it? I never come to visit the um, Utsugi Manor. My father would have never set his sights on the Utsugi family. If it weren't for me, the Utsugi family would have never gotten mixed up with father at all. If it weren't for me, this incident would have never happened. If it weren't for me, it's my fault for being for existing. Miji, Alusa, Mazuki, and Kaede. All because of me. It's all my fault. If he ever learned of this, Kaede would surely hate me. What should I do? I couldn't go on living if Kaede abandoned me. I finally found myself family I love in Kaede after all this time, and yet I don't want to lose him. No. I better hide the truth than lose Kaede. I'm sure that, um, I'm sure that Kaede will never meet Ali Kristino and his family after this. So we can just go on hating Aoi Krishna forever. A little while after that, Aoi commits suicide. Being the kind and gentle man he was, probably blamed himself for um probably blamed himself for um the deaths of Kaede's family and couldn't live with himself anymore. And so, after as a result, only my father and I knew the truth of the incident. And then my father died in an accident. If I just kept this up and didn't tell Kaede until he died, then he'd never find out. As long as I didn't tell him, then Kaede would continue to love me. I didn't want him to hate me. I didn't want him to abandon me. Kaede they abandoned me and came to hate me the way that my mother and that, that mom had never shown me love. When that thought came to me, I couldn't act. I couldn't afford to lose the only person in this world who was kind to me and gave me his love. That's why I cut everything aside from Kaede out of my life. Even when Kaede approached me with his twisted love, I couldn't refuse him. Because I loved him too. That- sorry. 
Because I love Kaede too. That was only as a brother. I didn't love him the way he wanted me. I got scared when I thought about oh, Kaede hating me if I rejected him. So I couldn't turn him away. At times, I truly detested it and couldn't stand it any longer and plead, cry and plead to Kaede to show oh, mercy. But he would just give me a smile from the bottom of his heart. When Kaede said he won... When Kaede said he wanted me to have our child, I truly felt like I was going to throw up. I couldn't understand what Kaede was thinking. And so I cried out of fear of Kaede. And I cried in fear. Um, Kaede would smile happily at me. Call me and call me cute and cute over again as he slept with me. I couldn't believe that the that the person straddling me, panting on top with, a, with an insane smile on his face, was the same Kaede. Kind of I was scared. I was so scared. But once he was done, he went back to the to the same kind kind person he always was. That's why I had to endure it. I had to be the good boy that Kaede always called me. That Kaede called and protected. No, in the first place, I was in no position to be rejecting Kaede. Because my existence is the reason he lost his family. I, I, deserved, a, I deserved a sort of punishment for that. Couldn't go back. We can never go back to the days when we played together at the Utsugi Manor. In the end, I couldn't get the normal love I desire from either mom or Kaede. At some point, our relationship had become twisted. Why did this ever happen? I and I just... I just... No, I just... I just wanted to be family with Kaede, that's all. I never dreamed I'd meet Sakura and Anzu again. The two of them had completely forgotten about me. But I couldn't. Wait, hold on a second. Oops. Okay, here we go. After he met Sakura, Kaede decided to get his revenge on her. I thought I needed to tell him the truth before he killed Sakura for having done nothing wrong. But when the thought of Kaede's anger turning to me came to mind, I couldn't bring myself to say it. That's right. I was a coward. Even though I knew he was going to kill Sakura, I never told him the truth out of fear of my own safety. I'm the same. I'm the same as my father who sacrificed others for his own gain. I 
感じにそっくりになっていく自分が嫌だった事件の真相も親父のことも全部忘れたかった忘れて楓と一緒に生きていきたかった I hate how I turned out just like the father I hated so much. I wanted to forget the truth of the incident, my father, all of it. Forget it and live together with Kaede. Every time I looked in the mirror, drove her, when I saw the face、um, that was slowly but surely turning out exactly like my father's, I couldn't be allowed to forget anything. My dad didn't kill Kaede's family. But he believed Kaede's family died because of him, and so he committed suicide. Dad. I know it's selfish, I know it's a selfish thought, but I. I wish you'd live, Dad. Hiroki. Why? Why did you never tell me? How could I? How could I have told you that was all my fault? I was scared of you hating me, so I couldn't bring myself to say it. So I was scared of you hating me more when you learned that you didn't really love me. What are you talking about, Hiragi? I do love you. What's wrong, Kaede? What you love is my poor, miserable self. As long as anyone more miserable than you is by your side, it doesn't have to be me. You found peace of heart because you, you thought I was more unfortunate than you. Because you. Because you felt you had it better than me. No, I never thought that. I'm not wrong at all. Because you got mad whenever I, when I smiled at someone else, didn't you? Because you got happy whenever I cried, didn't you? That's. I knew that. I understood that. But I loved you. Well, I'll end it all now. Yagi said that, took out a knife even hiding behind his back. 
and pushed it against his throat. Hiragi. Hiragi. Yogi, what do you think you're doing? Sakura, I'm sorry. Not only did I cause Anza to die, but I drove, brought you to your death as well. I should have done this a lot sooner. Hiragi. Hiragi. Stop. Don't do it. Please, please, Hiragi. I'm sorry. It's my fault. <laughs> Why are you apologizing to me? It's all my fault, so I should be the one apologizing to you, right? Stop! Hiragi, don't! To all this now. This and it'll all be over. I'll carry out your vengeance. The knife digs into Hiragi's throat. Hiragi, stop this! Kaede, thank you for everything. Hiragi thrusts a knife in his neck, falls might. Hiragi! Blood gushes from Hiragi's neck. Red. Red. Large amount of blood um, gushes from Hiragi's neck. It splatters around the area. Knife he was holding drops to the floor. A leaf smile as though he'd been unbound from everything rises to Hiragi's face, and then he slowly falls to the floor. I don't know to say a word at that sight. I just stare. Um, I just, all I can do is watch. By the dust really cradles, um, Kyogi's bloodstained body. When I see him like that, I. Alright, the choice here are feel rage for Kaede or pity Kaede. We're gonna save here. And we are going to pick to pity Kaede. I see Kaede crying and screaming out the name of the one he loves. I feel pity for him. Kai did cry like this too ten years ago when he lost his family. Why did Hiragi have to die? Why? Takanuki Sensei. 
すみれも石崎先生も椿部長もアンズもそう思っただろうなどうして自分が死ななきゃいけないんだろうって Why? I'm sure Mr. Takanuki, Sumire, Miss Nishizaki, President Tsubaki, and Anzu all thought the same thing. Why do I have to die? I'm sure all of them wanted to live longer, and you took that from them. Every time you every time you stole their futures from them, Hiragi blamed himself. You're the one who drove Hiragi to a corner. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. You understand nothing. What the hell could you possibly understand about me and Hiragi? I don't understand. How could I possibly understand someone who knows no other way of showing his love? Are than tying up the person he loves and taking away their freedom. You loved Hiragi, didn't you? You treasured him, didn't you? So why couldn't you wish for his happiness? If, you, if I could have always lived with Hiyagi, then I might have wished the same thing. But I don't have but I don't have long to live. No matter how much I struggle, I can't I can't walk the same road as Hiragi. So I wanted to have Hiragi all to myself while I was still alive. You're not the only one who fears death, Kaede. No one knows the future. Even the healthiest of people might die in an accident tomorrow. Everyone lives to the best of their abilities despite holding that fear in their hearts. Others don't have the right to take that from them. It's true you had a rough you had a hard life. It's true that you don't have long to live. But even so, you're wrong to take others' lives. If only if you just killed me from the start, then Hiragi wouldn't have died. Hey, they, you were wrong. Shut up. I don't. I don't want to hear that from the likes of you. Kaede thrust a knife in his hands into my abdomen. I feel a burning pain. 
Even so, I fill my legs with strength and stand tall. I'd never met you, this never would have happened. All of it. It's all your fault. Did anything change by hating others like that? What? I wanted to kill President Tsubaki too. I wanted to kill the one who killed Anzu. I understand what you're feeling now painfully well. But even so, nothing changes by hating and resenting others. I'm sure Anzu wouldn't want wouldn't wish for me to take revenge. Hold on a second. Okay, back. Um, what about your family, Kaede? They've wanted you to get revenge even if it meant wasting your life. I'm sure they wouldn't have. I don't think they would have wanted for you to take revenge. They must. I'm sure they would have wished for you um, to be happy with the limited amount of time you had left. <laughs> Shut up. Don't say another word. Don't you dare talk about my family. Stabs me in the... Hold on a second. In the side and the chest. My knees give way and I fall to the floor. I can't stop the bleeding. I cough up a lot of blood and can't say anything. Kai looks down on me. Sakura, why did I ever have to meet you? We never should have met. Our meeting was a mistake. Kaede's crying. Yeah, you're right. Hoping for the best we never met. If we never met, then Kali would have never felt this way and everyone wouldn't have died. I'm sure of it. But it's pointless to think about that. You can't... People, you can't reset your life, after all. What ifs don't exist in this world? 
you can't redo your life. That's why we do our best to travel down the paths we've chosen. My vision's going black. Cold. Freezing. I'm going to die. No. I'm scared. I'm lonely. I'm losing all that's connecting me to this world. I'm losing myself. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't want to die yet. I want to live longer. I wanted to be with everyone. Mom. Well, I'm the mom. If I die too. She no longer has dad or Anzu anymore. She'll be all alone. Mom. So much I want to tell you before I die. I was happy to be born as your daughter. How happy I was to have dad, mom, and Anzu as my family. Anzu. Wait for me, okay? I'll be there soon. Are you lonely and crying? After all, Hanzo had always been the lonely one. But she empathized for others. She had a firm head on her hands. I was proud to call her my sister. My beloved sister. I'm an unreliable sister, so please, Anzu, take my hand. Sakura's dead. I killed her. I'd always hated her. I'd always wanted to kill her. And yet... I just feel so empty. Why is it? That's right. Because you're not by my side, Hiragi. I hold the bloodstained Hiragi in my arms. Still warm. I can hear his faint breath. I want to save him, but it's too late for that now. It's a whole pool of blood on the floor, and he's still losing a lot of blood now. Hiyagi, I want to always be with you. I always looked at you. Yeah, I didn't understand the thing. How you were suffering from knowing the truth. How you cared for me more than I ever imagined. Why didn't I ever love you properly? Even though I held you so dear to me. Yeah, all I ever did was cause him pain. <coughs> My body's burning. It hurts to breathe. <coughs> it's almost daybreak. I'm going to die soon. My life is... My life, sorry, my life was, was probably miserable. I can't say it was fortunate by any means. I lost so much that I held dear. I took so many lives with my hands. And my reward was your death. Hiragi. The only face I have you in my memories are you crying in fear.
I was happy when I saw your expressionless face change. But I was wrong. What I really wanted to see was your smile. Our relationship was twisted, wasn't it? I... You... I couldn't be the family you wanted. Could I? But even so... I... I loved you. I kiss Hyagi on the lips. This is it for me. I close my eyes, I feel Hiroki's faint warmth. Sakura. Shikari. Sh Sakura. <sighs> Hang in there, Sakura. I hear someone's voice. I feel like I... I recognize it, but... I feel so nostalgic. I feel someone's warmth and open my eyes. Miss Nishizaki? Sakura! Sakura! Sakura, have you come too? Hang in there, Sakura. Why is Miss Nishizaki... She passed away. Resident Tsubaki should have killed her. Oh, I see. Nishizaki's come to take me. Sakura! Sakura! I close my eyes again. I open my eyes. It's a white room. Is this a hospital? <gasps> Mom? Sakura... Sakura... Oh, thank goodness. Mom's crying. I'm... alive? That's right. You're alive, Sakura. Why? I mean... How they stabbed me? No. Even without that, I was poisoned. I was infected with the poison, wasn't I? I look at the. I look at my arms to find that the bruises have disappeared without a trace. Why? The reason the bruise disappeared is because you died once, Sakura. Mom. Mom knows about the bruises? She knows about the poison? I died once? I never would have imagined that that flower's poison still existed. My father told me about the flower's poison. About what powers that flower had. What do you mean? Mom, what powers? That flower has the power to bring people back to life. Those infected with the flower's poison can't handle its intense vitality and die. If someone infected with the poison dies by um, sorry, but if someone infected dies by any other means than the poison. 
that poisons um, vitality runs uh, what's it called works through the body and brings it back to life at that time um all the poison in the butt and the body is used up in order to bring the body back to life so those who come back from the dead don't have the poison in their body flowers poison is that kind of power Sakura. Sakura, do you remember that red medicine that, that your father gave you once? That was the flower's poison. On the night you drank that, your father killed you once in order to save you. As a result, you came back to life. Flower's vitality wiped out your illness at the source. That, that wasn't a dream. That nightmare where Dad held, thrust the knife down at me. That actually happened. I'm sure I must have forgotten it all this time because of the shock. I wasn't all that conscious during my fits. So I probably um, recognize acknowledge it as a dream. あの花のことはお父さんから口止めをされていたの。人間を蘇生させられる花なんて人間の理を覆してしまうものだから。Your father told me never to tell tell anyone about the flower. He said that. Flower of that with power to resurrect humans, a song that overturned the laws of humanity. But even so, the reason your father. Use the poison to bring you back to life. It's because he wanted you to live. Mom. I can't believe Mom knew everything about the flower. If Mom had told me, maybe I could have saved everyone. Everyone died because of the flower's poison. No. Someone if someone infected dies by any other means in the poison, they'll be brought back to life. That means the hospital door opens and the two of them come in. Sis, Sakura, Sakura, you're awake, huh? Nishizaki Sensei, Sis, thank goodness, thank goodness you're awake. Onzu, Miss Nishizaki, the two of you really are alive? Yeah, this isn't a dream. Sis, Onzu embraces me. She's warm. I can hear her heartbeat. I cry. I've never been happier in my life. Anzu's alive. Anzu! 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 Anzu!
Onzu, when I found your body, it broke my heart. Yeah, I'm sorry for leaving you all alone, sis. Onzu, thank goodness, thank goodness. I embrace Onzu. Onzu's alive. That's... that's all that matters. Yes, that's right. はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は